let's take a walk through the old train station so far and here we are and as you can see I've added some materials some of these will stay for the final and some of these are uh, sort of test materials just to see how things are shaping up um, the light of course is very important for the materials and so you know I, I like to do a test and see how it's going um, yeah here we can see the basic uh, models that I've, I've made early on I made a bench again I may go back to this and change some of the the model itself and some of the texturing but we got the main bench and we've got the the church pews we got the garbage can I'm thinking about getting rid of this I don't particularly like it but we'll see and of course we got the windows here and I put in some glass I'll talk a little bit about that with the various pieces of metal and uh, let's come down here we got our display case I don't think I'm gonna put anything inside that I think I'm gonna leave it that way um, we've got our old uh, wood stove and our axe and our saw and our, our boxes there's our rat wagon wheel I just dropped it in we'll work a little bit on that on that wood um, we got the doors back here I put a door there I got a door there this area right now is a, a bit empty uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this um, with respect to the, the pictures uh, because I'm a Canadian and live here in Canada I've tried to choose pictures that are uh, Canada related so we got a map here and then over here there's a, an old train and we, and we got some glass some d dirty dusty glass and over here we got another uh, train somewhere in Canada and um, yeah so um, basically this thing was all oh yeah and our lamps of course uh, textured in substance painter a lot of which you saw me do some of which you didn't We've got an HDR image in the background to make it look sort of like it's out in the countryside. Some graffiti there. Uh, and that's pretty much, uh, that's it for the time being. So um, I was asked if I'd talk a little bit about my references. And so over here in this folder, I've got a lot of uh, images that I collected. So uh, I think one of the first images that really inspired me uh, was this one here. And I like the colors and you can see some kind of like like church pews uh there's a train in the background and so this made me think of this sort of you know long view and um you know i did some some references for you know windows when i had to do the windows i had to learn about the different parts of the window and and start trying to figure out how i would build that so i just collect whatever images i think are going to help me uh, understand that and build something that makes a little bit of sense um, and then of course here's uh, here's a door that I could use to you know for basic modeling purposes and then when it came to modeling some of the furniture I used images like this all right and that's very similar to to what I made uh, I think anyhow and there's the you know the display case and profiles of the of the church pew and the garbage can may or may not um, make it into the final into the final scene but we'll, we'll see if it seems to fit um, and then lamps I just went ahead and did my own thing uh, for stoves um, you know there's various old I was looking at some old stuff I didn't want to go too crazy um, this one is pretty similar to uh, to what I did All right, and again you can see the nice dirty dusty environment um, of course you know we have the tools we got the axe and the saw 
there's a little bit of trim right now near the ceiling I can show you that and so I might use something like this and uh, trace out a profile and use that for molding and I still have to do one down around uh, the floor and in the bottom and do something here and that'll hopefully improve things I'm not sure what I'll do here because I want this open uh, but I do have something up here right now some trim up there um, of course the wagon wheel we already looked at that so I got some images of the wagon wheel so I'd understand that and I was thinking maybe about an old kind of a train station uh, clock hanging with some swirls or whatever just hanging there uh, on the wall um, I was thinking about down in the in the back here or, or even here hanging here or um, I don't know exactly I was I was I was thinking here I'm looking for other things to do but you know time is somewhat limited and uh, but I, I I have a list of some some other things I, I was thinking maybe I would do an old kettle and stick it on here but I'm not sure I really need that I might put some metal grates you know especially like something there maybe something here um, maybe something uh, up on the ceiling just to break that up uh, the garbage can like I say it's, it's, it's in there for the moment uh, I just quickly threw some textures on that but I, I think I don't like the dimension to this I think it's got to be narrower and we could work on that maybe that'll fit maybe it won't um, I was thinking of signs like you know like old license plates you know beat up license plate kind of signs with Canadian names of, of uh, cities um, where or villages where the train might come through um, and so I was thinking of posting them on here or, or back here if I made a few of those and maybe some cardboard boxes maybe there's some shipping going on from here as well one of the things that I would like to mention about the glass uh, because this this is um, going to be rendered in Eevee um, which I like because I don't really want to do it overly realistic there's enough realism all around me I'm not interested in creating like a wine glass on a dining room table I've got that in my place um, I want sort of a more fantasy type look and I like the way Eevee does that but glass um, I wanted the Sun coming through shining on the floors and one of the things you need to do is go into the material and down here under shadow mode uh, turn it to none because if it's on something like opaque uh, you can still see through the window and get light but you won't see it on the floor there so switch this to none and then the, the Sun will come shining through all right, so that's a walkthrough of the uh, old train station. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to get to do on this, but I'll do probably a little bit more. And then um, I'll do some effects in compositing and some in some post-processing as well.